In the 9th century, a snake oil remedy won popularity with a miracle formula capable of treating diverse illnesses. However, in 1917, it was determined that the oil was a mix between minerals and other oils, some addictives not derived from snakes. In this way, the snake oil became a recognized fraud, even if the original Chinese snake oil was a great remedy in traditional Chinese culture. Because of its fame, a miracle medicine, the occidental oil, created a sequence of placebo effect on its users, that is, a phenomenon in which some people experience a benefit after the administration of an inactive look-alike substance or treatment. This substance or placebo has no known medical effect. In the same way, in history, other so-called miracle drugs arose as a promise of absolute cure and claimed to do good but with real adverse reactions. Among these cases, we can quote the magical mushrooms, fungi with psychedelic properties that originate hallucinations. Its use causes a sense of relief, even if it's proven to provoke panic attacks and senses of isolation and fear. Experiments were made about treatments against depression, although the results were inconclusive enough. Some animals can also have similar effects as the mushrooms. The frog Bufu alvarius possesses a substance called 5-MeO-DMT in its skin, having a similar effect as the LCD. Steam inhalation of the substance become popular in some circles and its users report an almost dead experience. The wrong use of this poison can cause problems such as short-term loss of consciousness and respiratory depression. Therefore, bufalvarius cannot be taken as a magic elixir and there are risks. Recent research has been conducted on Iberic scorpion, also known as lacroix. The venom has been used in the treatment of blood and cerebral cancer, even though there is no outcome in the treatment of the cerebral disease. Furthermore, even among these miracle drug examples, there is still some more extreme like MMS, Miracle Mineral Supplement. This is actually fake news created by the fake scientist Jim Humble and spread through social media as a magical cure for HIV, malaria, hepatitis, flu, autism, acne and others. This supplement is a solution of chlorine dioxide, aqua bleach, mixed with a citrus juice and consumed orally. The consequences of consumption are nasal irritation, eye irritation, nausea, vomiting, breath difficulties, diarrhea and even death. The use of this substance became a public health risk because of the spread of misinformation. This is a true example of pseudoscience a collection of beliefs or practices mistakenly regarded as being based on scientific method.